Hey, Joe Alden, MD here. And I'm Amy Alden, ARNP. Our focus is disaster, epidemics, and first aid preparedness. We want you to know what to do in situations where medical help may not be available for the short term or even the long haul. One of the ways we offer this information is through our videos. If you like our videos, we hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Joe Alton, MD, founder of the preparedness website doomandbloom.net, where you'll find 850, 850, wow, articles, videos, and podcasts for important information about any disaster. I haven't done an update on what we know about the Zika virus lately, so I thought I'd get you up to date on the latest news. If you've been vacationing on the moon or otherwise off the planet, you might not know about the Zika virus. It's a member of the flavivirus family that includes yellow fever, West Nile, dengue fever, and other diseases that are spread by the Aedes species of mosquitoes. Aedes is the ancient Greek word for unpleasant. I'll say, although the vast majority of infections are transmitted by the mosquito, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention now state the Zika virus is transmissible through any type of sexual activity that involves exposure to genital secretions. Previously thought to only be sexually transmitted by males to their partners, a recent case in New York City showed that the infection could be passed from a female to a male. There are currently at least 1,700 cases of travel-related Zika in the continental U.S. and 5,000 in the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico, almost all locally transmitted. The CDC now reports a locally transmitted outbreak of, so far, 15 cases in a small area in Miami, and they predict that other clusters of Zika outbreaks might just occur elsewhere. The CDC took an unprecedented action when it warned against travel to the Miami neighborhood in question, the first time Americans were recommended against travel to an area in the U.S. for fear of infectious disease. Zika virus carries a risk of severe birth abnormalities in a fetus when infection occurs during a pregnancy. Chief among these is microcephaly, a condition where head growth is decreased as a result of damage to brain tissue. The virus is responsible for at least 1,600 abnormal newborns in Brazil and 12 so far in the United States. In adults, a small number of cases of Guillain-Barre syndrome, a condition where the body attacks its own nerve cells, also seems to be related to Zika infection. The significance of these new findings regarding sexual transmission especially is that the population at risk for spreading Zika has now increased considerably. In a revamp of its official recommendations, the CDC now advises against unprotected sex with any person, male or female, who has traveled to or lives in an area with Zika. The CDC also recommends testing all pregnant women in at-risk areas or with possible Zika exposure. Previously only available at the National Institute of Health, CDC, and other state labs, Zika tests are now more widely available through state and commercial labs. Acute Zika virus infection causes mild symptoms normally, fever, rash, joint aches, and red eyes, for example, but only in 20% of cases. 80% show no symptoms at all. While this fact may appear comforting to you, it means that there's a possibility that an asymptomatic pregnant woman may not learn that she was infected until her fetus is found to be abnormal on obstetric ultrasound. Oftentimes, serial ultrasounds over time are needed. Confirmation of an abnormal head growth pattern may not occur until late in the pregnancy. Official recommendations by the CDC for those planning to get pregnant in the near future, they are as follows. Women who have Zika virus disease should wait at least eight weeks after symptom onset to attempt conception. And men with Zika virus disease should wait at least six months after symptom onset to attempt conception. The longer period for men reflects the ability of the virus to remain active in seminal fluid for three months or more. Zika virus is also thought to be transmissible through blood transfusions and even menstrual blood. A case in Utah where a family caregiver contracted the infection suggests that handling bodily fluids such as blood, urine, or feces might be a risk factor. We don't know yet. Although a vaccine is currently being researched, it won't be available until a number of scientific trials are performed. Don't expect one until at least 2018. There is no other treatment or cure present other than dealing with symptoms like fever and joint pain. 
Zika is unlikely to reach epidemic status in the U.S. I agree with this. Unlike some other areas, most buildings in the U.S. are air conditioned or at least have screen doors and windows. Mosquito repellent is affordable to most people here, unlike some other places. And although the federal government hasn't been able to come to an agreement about funding, states like Florida have allotted funds for mosquito control. To prevent Zika virus, you should use mosquito repellents when outside. Deet, picaridin, and oil of lemon eucalyptus have been deemed safe and effective by the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, even for pregnant women. If you're using sunscreen as well, apply sunscreen first and then the mosquito repellent. Wear long sleeves and pants when outside. Don't have unprotected sex with anyone who has been to areas at risk for Zika. Drain any standing water on your property that might serve as mosquito breeding grounds. And stay indoors when possible. Um, sleep, of course, with mosquito netting if you stay anywhere without air conditioning. And also avoid travel to areas where a Zika epidemic is ongoing. Expect CDC guidelines regarding Zika virus infection to change as more is known about the Zika virus. A last bit of good news, if you have had Zika, you're immune for the foreseeable future from getting it again. Future pregnancies should not be affected as long as you wait long enough to conceive. This is Joe Alden, MD, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching.